I have a confession to make. I have never experienced 4K gaming in my life. Well, that is until recently where BenQ sponsored me to check out the Mobius EX3210U, which is a 4K 144Hz QD IPS gaming monitor. And can I just say, 4K gaming is absolutely phenomenal. So here's my experiences with it and here's what I think about. Starting off with what 4K gaming is the best at, being more immersive. 4K means four times the pixels of 1080p. And that means you get higher resolution images on your screen in front of you. Gaming is just clearer, it's just sharper, and the higher resolution just makes things feel so much more immersive. And you can really appreciate the textures, the models that were designed for the games that you're playing when you're playing at 4K, since, well, there's so much higher resolution. But the thing is, even though it's bigger at 32 inches, it still has a higher pixel density than any 1080p monitor basically out there, because it's so many more pixels pixels than 1080p. So not only is the image bigger, it's also sharper and clearer, which means it's just overall more immersive. When you're playing a game that has a lot of small details in it, like a big map game like City Skylines or Civilization, this added resolution means the details of the intricate map start to become really visible and you can really pay attention to the small things going on on your screen. But the thing is, it even stands out further when you're playing immersive titles. Games like Alan Wake 2, which is tripping me out with these really scary stuff on screen right now. Cyberpunk with the latest Phantom Liberty expansion making Idris Elba look so lifelike. That higher resolution results in just so much better immersion in gaming and that is very evident on the EX3210U. Not to mention the fact that 4K means that you have higher resolution to enjoy things like movies or do professional work like photo or video editing or just read greater amounts of text or spreadsheets because you've got more resolution and you've got more screen size. So those are boring things that no one cares about. This is a gaming monitor for gamers. But it's improved even further by the fact that the colors that you get on this monitor and the contrast is excellent actually really darn good. I was genuinely surprised by this. Turns out it has something called a quantum dot IPS panel. And it's not the first time we've seen quantum dot technology before, sure, but it's executed very well here. What it basically means is you have another quantum dot layer on top of your IPS panel, which means the panel has Quantum Dot is there to improve the color and improve the contrast. And the contrast on this is really good, especially for a IPS display. In fact, it's higher than a thousand to one in my measurements. What that means is you get a really punchy contrast going on, despite the fact that it is just an LCD, not an OLED. On top of that, the saturation of the colors, the vibrancy really does pop. Next to this QD IPS panel and it just looks really good. Games like Cyberpunk with its neon lights particularly stand out. Or for me, Risk of Rain 2, which is like one of my favorite chill games out there. The thing is, it's not just really exciting to look at, it has very good color performance too. So it supports 10-bit color, covers 98% of the DCI-P3 color space and 99% of the Adobe RGB color space. And straight out of the box, it's actually somewhat color accurate and with a bit of color calibration, went well underneath the Delta E of 2 that I generally go for, for basic web color grading. So I actually have been using this for video editing and color grading, and it's been a absolute joy to work on. Not only do the colors look good, they also are pretty accurate. Oh, and the viewing angles are great, as well as the backlight bleed being pretty well controlled for a IPS display. Another cool feature this has is something called Color Shadow, which allows you to import, export, download, or create color profiles that you can then use on your Mobius EX3210U. What this basically allows you to do is install other people's picture profiles so that your monitor looks better for those games without having to go through the setup and experimentation yourself. So with that, you can share with your friends color profiles that you like. So if you guys have matching gaming monitors, you guys can sync up so that everything looks equally awesome. I'm going to be sharing my personal favorite picture profile that I love to use for playing games like Risk of Rain 2 or Cyberpunk down in the description. So check that out if you do plan to get this monitor. And basically my color profile is really focused on making colors as punchy, as saturated and as exciting as possible because these games are full of neon colors that I absolutely adore. On top of the good colors and the good resolution, you get 144 hertz, which means the gameplay is going to be much smoother than you get on a 60 hertz panel. And of course, because it's 4K, you know, you're not going to be able to run every game at 200 FPS when you're playing at 4K. It does have FreeSync Pro, which means it can adjust the refresh rate 
to basically match the FPS so you don't get any horrible screen tearing, which is nice to have. Not to mention the fact that it also has MPRT, which is backlight strobing to reduce motion blur. So if you're playing fast paced games or things with a lot of action, you can significantly improve your motion clarity with this feature being turned on. So if you're playing, let's say an esports title or a fast paced game like Valorant, Counter-Strike, Apex Legends, and have that better clarity for better performance in tapping hits. Now, obviously this is not a gaming monitor you buy if all you plan to do is do some esports try hard gaming. For those, you probably should go and get the Mobius 240Hz 1080p panel they have. But if you're concerned about whether you'll be able to play Valorant or Counter-Strike or Apex Legends or these fast-paced esports titles occasionally, you'll have no issues on this monitor. And this monitor is also HDR600 compatible, which is actually a pretty decent level of HDR support. And it also has a very convenient little HDR eye button that allows you to quickly turn on and off HDR mode and switch between presets just on the bottom right over here. And in HDR mode, it can hit a peak brightness of about 600 nits from my measurements, which is definitely going to be great. So a lot of things about this monitor that just are done flat out well. The design, for example, is amazing. It's a white monitor. How often do you see that? Which means if you're doing a themed setup with white as kind of the base color or the accent color, it fits just in perfectly. The stand that it comes with is also amazing. It's solid, it's sturdy, and it has all the adjustments you need from height to tilt to pen, and it's just really comfortable and ergonomic. The menu is extremely easy to use with a remote that comes in a box, so you can change settings like it's a TV, or just use the damn useful joystick on the bottom. It has built-in speakers that actually sound decent, which is a rarity for most monitors, especially gaming ones. And it even has a subwoofer in the back, so the speaker sounds a bit more full. Obviously, it's not going to replace a set of really high-end speakers, but if you aren't too worried about fancy audio for a great sound, this is actually going to work great sound-wise. You're not really going to need speakers. It has pretty good I.O., a USB hub built in for convenient and easy access. And all in all, it's just a very solid package. Of course, 4K is not a perfect resolution. There is one singular drawback, and that is it's a much harder to run resolution than 1080p or 1440p. Which means if you're getting a 4K monitor and your PC is a bit weak, you might need to get an upgrade if you're getting an EX3210U. Thankfully, you can get both this monitor and a GPU upgrade on thetechyard.com, which is a project that I've been leading that sells BenQ products as well as everything else under the sun in Singapore. So if you're looking for a setup upgrade, just check the link down below. On top of that though, you don't actually really need a massive upgrade to the 4090 just because you're gaming on 4K. That's a misconception that's commonly spread, but frankly, not really as big of a deal as it seems. Yes, you need a 4090 if you're gonna play maxed out settings at 4K at a high refresh rate, but the thing is 4K, that extra resolution and extra detail, more than makes up for the fact that you might have to play at lower settings like medium or high. Furthermore, there are a lot of games that look really, really good at 4K that benefit from 4K high refresh rate and the amazing colors that do not take up that much GPU performance to run and run smoothly. Games like Risk of Rain, as I've mentioned, isn't that hard to run at 4K. It looks absolutely phenomenal at 4K because of its wonderful art styles and amazing colors really get enhanced by the EX3210U here. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this little video about my first experience with 4K gaming. As you can tell, I have really enjoyed it. And if you think you might enjoy it, well, check out the links in the description below to check out the EX3210U. Shout out to BenQ for sponsoring this video and subscribe. Also, if you disagree with what I said, feel free to tell me in the comments.